you know you're getting a quality product when it arrives in a box like this. Look at that. Nail lacquer shaker, battery operated nail polish and paint shaker. Uh, batteries not included. Look at that class. Uh, professional nail product. This is not a continuous duty device. Do not run for long periods of time. What's on the side here? Professional use only. Look at that. Now, what I was looking for is a solution to separating paints. Now, probably like most of you might be watching this video, there's going to be paints that you haven't used for a little while and they separate and going through 20 30 paints and giving them a shake is a pain in the ass so i was looking for a quick uh reasonably priced cheap way of getting your paint shook up. and this is what i come up with now you can buy uh, dedicated um miniature paint shakers but they're coming in about 40 pounds now this this quality product was about 22 23 pounds on amazon i did have a look on wish.com to see if i could get any cheaper and they got exactly the same ones on wish for exactly the same price so so getting it off wish you're not going to save any money at all really and there's no guarantee um when it's going to arrive or if it's going to come with the right kind of battery pack or or plug adapter which is it's, again it's a pain in the ass but you know let's have a look at the product now here's the paint shaker here we go look at that quality look at that you can tell this was made with care and love um, it's a little plastic it's um it's heavier than I thought it weighs more which is uh, quite reassuring let's focus in on that which is quite reassuring uh, it is battery operated as well but what I found is the little screw where you put the batteries in you can twist this all day long and nothing's gonna happen look at that it's well in there but you know I'm not gonna paint my shakes paint my shakes shake my paints on the go so that's that's not really a problem at all um, this is where the little cradle where you stick your paints power at the back here you get a little kind of a latexy strappy type thing here you get a little pack of three well I've got a pack of three of them um, so if they do split or they do wear out you know you can just replace them they come off quite easy um, and there's the go button now let's uh, let me show you uh, let's get this running let's get this back on where's the plug Here's the plug. Now listen to this. It sounds like a like your granny's vibrator. Have a look. Look at this. Oh! Fantastic. But normally I'd take it out of the box, do an unboxing, give it a go. But you know, when you when you're dealing with quality products like this, I wanted to make sure it didn't blow up after the first ten you goes. So I've had it for about three or four weeks. I've really been testing it I've been uh, I've done about 30 paints my backup paints okay, where's my backup paints here they are I've gone through all of those giving them a really good mix I've also gone through some of the back shelf there and I've got I've got to say I've been pleasantly surprised with this it really works well it can take um, it can shake for up to I've tested up to five or ten minutes just to see what happens and it's not blown up it's not caught fire it hasn't died and it really does shake the paints really well um the other ones that you know the ones that are made just for paint shaking miniature paints are about 40 pounds this was about 23 pounds and it does just does the job well um i'm going to show you in action uh, i'm going to test out some of these uh look at these ones here look that's really separated so let's have a zoom in on that there we go well, this is a uh, high density paint entrail pink that's separated there um yeah, let's have a look at some of these greys have also separated really badly you can see that it's a liquid there so let's give that one a go i also want to check test out some metallics there we go this is silver because sometimes these can be a real pain to mix up and also some purples they really separate quite badly or, or well i don't know which is uh, the right word to use there so i'm going to test out some of these paints and uh, show you in action okay first up let's get this strap on strap on wow. um, let's go for a purple first um, I'm not gonna give it a pre shake I'm just gonna drop it on and kick it off let's move these out of the way strap him in put him in the cradle I'm gonna get a bit of an angle on here for you and 
I'm probably going to whiz through this. Let's. Uh, how long am I going to stick it on for? Let's stick them on for 30 seconds. There it goes. You can see, it's uh, mixing already. Still got a little touch at the top there, but that's not a problem. I have found if you flip them over, they do tend to mix better. And also if you have them slightly sticking out as well, it gives it more of a shake. Oh, it's changed its pitch. But it's all good. Now that was one that's really separated, the colours had separated, not just the ink from the, uh, the liquid, but the colours had separated really uh, quite obviously on this one. I don't know if you can hear me over the shake. Well, there we go, that's, let's have a look, that's about 30 seconds, or about a minute actually, but there we go, it's, all, it's already done a good job and that was really quite separated, stick it in for a little bit longer, now I'll we'll probably uh, speed through this one, okay, job done, let's, uh, let's have a look at Whoa, let's have a look at um, what the paint looks like. Now I'll just chuck some onto this. Now the first little dab out. Yeah, this hasn't been used for a long time, so let's have a go. Now oh. that is looking okay. It's mixed well. Let's try it on a bit of um, bones material. Hang on. bag here somewhere. Yeah, that will do. Uh, do, do, do. There we go. That is pretty well mixed. And I'm quite impressed with that. That was only you know a minute or two and that this paint hasn't been used for a very long time. I don't think I'm probably use this at all to be honest. And it's done a pretty good job. Let's have a focus in on that. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, tidy this out of the way and let's try some metallics. Let's get you out of the way. Alright, let's get this bad boy back in the middle. Now this is a metallic silver. Again, I haven't used this one for quite a while. You can see it's it's very separated. Let's, let's get a focus on this. There we go. Well, let's give this a go. I'm not going to give it a test shake. I'm just going to drop it straight on and kick it off. Now, I'm probably going to give this one a little bit longer. I'm going to whiz through it as well. And let's uh, let's see what it looks like afterwards. Okay, let's uh, flip him over. Well, and go again. Okay, that's long enough. Let's have a look. Let's get a focus on him. As you can see, that looks a lot better than it did. There's no obvious sign of uh, too much paint stuck on the bottle. But let, let's uh, let's open it up and have a look. Let's get another bit of bones. Move this out of the way. Let's have a go. Now again, this hasn't been used for a while. There we go, and that looks fine. Look at that. I don't know if you can see how well that shows up on the grey. But that is a, a well mixed paint. Awesome. Try it out one more. Stick the entrail pink on. I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to whiz through this really quickly. Just to show how it works on different paints. You know, the metallic paints, the uh, purples, which are, you know, always separate well. And some of these high density uh, darker colours. Let's go again. Okay, that's been shaking for a while. I haven't flipped this one round. I've, I've left it uh, in the same position. So let's see how well that's done. Again, that was going for a minute or two, or a minute or so. It's looking, let's have a little focus up on that. It's looking okay. Yeah, I haven't turned it over. And you can notice there is a difference on this side 
it seems fairly well mixed but then if you flip it over it does seem to be a little bit of a, a lighter or you can see a tide mark there nothing appears to be stuck on the bottom but it's okay so I would recommend if you're using it to flip it over just so you get an even shake but uh, let's get another bit of bones and test this out this one I've not used for ages or I don't think I've used this one at all so um, let's give it a bash Whoa, there we go. No, it's pretty well mixed. Look at that. It's all right. Not too bad. Awesome. So there you go. I've tried it. Like I've had this going now. I've done about oh, 20, 20 or so paints, 30 paints. I've had it on going for about two or three weeks. It's not blown up. Like I said, it's not set fire. Uh, it's doing okay. I'm quite impressed. You know, it, it feels heavy. It's got some weight to it. Um, it's half the price of the uh, dedicated mixers, but I, you know, I'll probably it's exactly the same inside. The cradles are the same. Um, so if you've got a lot of paints, you want them mixed, and you don't mind buying a nail polish shaker. Oh, there goes the light. Get this. I'd recommend it. I'm actually quite impressed, and it's better than I thought it was going to be. So, you know, I'd recommend getting it.